All right, the day is 420, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, um, we're going to talk about these pictures of the Transformers MPM-15 movie masterpiece Decepticon Brawl, which has been revealed by Hasbro China. So we know the MPM line, typically when released in the States, becomes now a Target exclusive because we don't have a Toys R Us. And for some reason, Walmart won't carry it because it's probably too high of a price. You know, Walmart's about low prices. So yeah, we're going to be... Um, you know, pretty much seeing this down the line, but it does look good for what it looks like. Now there are some in hand pictures, but they're, they look like they're taking on a cell phone. So these are some of the pics I believe are the mainly, you know, the ones that Hasbro does. So we'll be showing those off. I'm not going to show those pictures off. Um, I'm going to do a couple more news videos and uh, probably show off some of the uh, stuff I got today. Um, but I got more stuff coming. Don't worry. We're going to be doing reviews. We're going to be doing reviews. We're just going to look at these pictures and then we're going to get through this. So yeah, we see the Transformers Masterpiece box. We saw that in the first slide. Of course, in the second slide, we get to see the back. And it comes with some splooshing effects, man. He's got some different looking ones, you know, ones that looks like explosions and things like that. So that looks pretty good. Tank mode is awesome. This thing looks good, man. I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. Is a release date yet? Don't know. I don't have that information. Um, there is some more news, like I said, that came out. But still nothing about a release date or anything like that. But we know it's coming out. But you got to admit, this thing does look good. Now, so one thing I will say about the MPM line, as well as just the fact with the Transformer movie line, I mean, the movie line, but just the movies in general, you know, because the realism of the vehicles that they turn into, they do the same thing with the MPM line, where they do give that sense of realism. And looking at their tank, it is superb. Now, let's look at the uh, alt robot mode. Yeah, I mean, if you, now I don't care for the movie designs, but I'm not hating on this because I know how iconic he was and things like that. But you got to admit, it does look good. And here are some more pictures. Now, these were like, I don't know where these were from per se, but I just got a couple of these shots. There was no need for me to get all of them because after that it was just more of the in-hand pictures with a bunch of hands in the way. And I really don't want to show all those out. So, but yeah, you get to see here some of the drawings and things like that. Um, yeah, this does look good. So I do see this being a hot ticket item for those who collect in the MPM line. Unfortunately, I never really bought anything in the MPM line. And hey, well, that's just me. I don't collect Masterpiece. Um, but if I did, yeah, I would definitely pick this up. Not because of so much I like the design. I just like the character, you know, and of course with the movie he's from. Um, but other than that, you know, it's just me. I'm not really into these. But if you are into these, then you should definitely pick these up. So looking at the quality of the plastic and the different blast effects and everything like that, I think this is gonna be a great MPM release. A lot of people are excited about it. The boards are buzzing. Everybody sounds like they're very pleased with what they're seeing. So I don't see that there will be any other issues, but they go out and buy the figure. So again, what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. By myself, I'm not buying it, but it does look good. So this is Super Robot Ed, bringing you more news reviews to them. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.